Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for December 20th to the 26th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. Also, my darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries that are unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. On that channel, I do stuff like uh, examine cases like John Benny Ramsey, The Black Dahlia, uh, I did uh, The Hedra Kai Effect, um, stuff about the paranormal. Uh, recently, just did something on Natalie Wood. So, there's multiple things for you guys to go check out. And if you say hi to me over there, I'll say hi to you. So, we're going to be talking about your day to day, your love, interest, feelings, the block studies and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Let's go my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Geminis, we got, and we got the Five of Swords. I don't know why the cards today do not want to come apart here. All right, Knight of Swords. Seven of Swords, interesting. The Six of Wands the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant card, okay. We got the Eight of Wands, the Strength card, and we have the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands for the blockage, the Eight of Cups, the World card energy, and the Eight of Pentacles. Let's move this over here. It's a little bit more straighter. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Okay. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's a person who's flirting with you and there's some potential passionate situation. We see that there's some slow walking going on, possibly with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You're at a crossroads and indecisive, uh, definitely attracting a lot of options and choices to you this week. Let's go further. I get the sense that there is a person here, and let's just talk about the days of the week here. So we got December 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. Guys, feel free, come back, check this out. Let me know how it plays out in your individual situations in the comments below. But first of all, let's go to this blockage, okay? So the blockage is saying, okay, I want to defend my position. I have the higher ground here, Gemini, all right? I want to win this situation. I don't care what others have to say about this. I want to fight for this. Or there's a person that needs to do that, okay, with the Seven of Wands energy as the blockage. Well, let's see. There may be a lot of overanalyzing going on, too. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Gemini for the blockage? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see, Gemini. All right, so we have a want to achieve something here in healing a situation to bringing things to peace and harmony. Someone wants to be enlightened about the situation when it comes to communication. They're seeing some kind of good signs here, but there's been some delays around this situation, some kind of obstacles, and like an obstacle course there because we got the labyrinth. So there's a lot of obstacles here. And there's people that's coming at the either you or the other person. And uh, we see that needing to defend the position here. Seven of Wands energy is part of the blockage. So we see Five of Swords is for the 20th. It seems like there's a very defeated energy and someone's trying not to face this situation. So let's get more information about this Five of Swords. Five talks about challenges or changes. What's going to my Gemini's Romantic Love Life for December 20th to the 26th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, yeah. They, there's this lying or deceptive kind of energy. Okay, coming in here. All right. It's not my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. 
okay, there's a defeated energy, someone's feeling like someone's lying about this friend, a friend. And then there is this big action, this abrupt action that's taken, a sudden action that's taken on the 21st. What's that about? Okay, so there's some concerns about some loss in these indecisions. So this person's like, I better act fast because I don't want to lose this situation because I'm at a crossroads about what to do about this friend. And then we see, oh, wow, someone's trying to like get away with something here with the Seven of Swords energy on the 22nd. It's like there's some hidden aspect. Someone's not seeing everything. We see that there is this memories of the past, uh, reliving some memories of the past in these deceptions, okay? And that there's concerns that they don't know where they stand with you. They have a lot of uncertainty, okay, with the uncertainty card. So far we can see there's this friend or something to do with friends, which is leaving this situation at a crossroads. And obviously the uncertainty has to do with a person here that's into you, Gemini, that doesn't know where they stand with you, okay? So it does look like here on the 23rd, Gemini, it seems like they want to, someone wants to get your attention, or you may be getting a lot of attention on this day with Six of Wands in it. There's some big changes here happening on the 23rd, okay? And we see there's something to do with someone who wants a relationship. So this changing in a situation here, big changes for you guys coming in on the 23rd, because somebody really wants a relationship here with the soulmate card. Okay, Gemini, and if I look about what's above that, something to do with a joyful energy, friendship, and a relationship. There is a fulfillment of desires this week with the Nine of Cups energy, Gemini. Oh yes, definitely you guys are gonna have a good time on the 24th. It's gonna be a lot of fun on that day. Looks like you're hanging out, having a good time and definitely feeling like you're in control of your situation. Okay, so far we can see a friendship, some crossroads, some indecisions, and uncertainty about a relationship, and whether or not you want to assert yourself here, okay, whether or not this fulfills your desires. So we see the Seven of Cups coming out here for the 25th, and it's showing me you're standing back and you're looking at the situation like, I don't know what to do, Seven of Cups energy. I'm trapped in my thoughts here on the 25th. Okay, so be careful on the 25th, guys. You're gonna get your, you know, get caught up in like thinking about stuff and it's gonna make you really kind of trapped in your thoughts. On this day, try to just enjoy your day and live in the moment, okay? Um, you are gonna have a situation where you're gonna be constantly, constantly thinking about stuff, okay? Yeah, and, and the delays and the challenges here. So we see that Going on on the uh, 26th here, we got the uh, Hierophant card energy, which talks about spiritual guidance, okay? Which talks about traditions, which talks about a commitment or marriage, okay? I get the sense you have two opportunities, okay? With the key cards energy coming out here, and also I see two people in front of you that really want to commit to you. That's very interesting, okay? Or want to marry you, because we do also see an infringing party there as well. Okay, so relationship, wanting to take control of these delays and challenges. A marriage, a commitment, an infringing party, a self-doubt, or another person wants to apologize and reconcile. So you could have been married to this person before as well. Okay, let's bring it all together, but I do get the sense you have two choices, but one of them is somebody you may have been married to before, okay, or committed to before in a long-term relationship. Okay, so we have this friendship and there's these crossroads and uncertainty about a relationship. We see you're trying to get some control or gain some control about the situation or someone's trying to make a power move because there's delays and challenges and they want to apologize and reconcile. And we look at the bottom of the deck. Gemini, I'm confused. I really wanna make the effort. I've been patient here. I want you to make this decision. We have this family together and I wanna heal this situation. I wanna communicate with you and I'm hopeful. I've been thinking about you very deeply and I really want something to happen fast because I have feelings for you. All right, so we see deceptions are taken away because of memories of the past, someone from the past, mourning of the past, some changes, big changes here. There's a celebration, a joyful energy, and someone who is trapped in their thoughts, 
feeling like their hands are tied because of another person. So it seems to me like the other person, Gemini, is the one, the person you've dealt with before seems to be the one who is trying to make you kind of like, hey, no, Gemini, you're going to go in this direction. And it's like, I feel like I get the sense of there's defeated energy and something is moving very fast and sudden. And there's concerns about someone lying or deceptive about this attention being given and the fulfillment of desires here. It's causing a lot of confusion because of a marriage or someone you had a strong commitment with, or you have two opportunities where someone wants to commit to you. Okay, Hierophant card. Okay. Let's move this out of the way and let's talk about the, um, don't worry, I'm gonna go over the overall towards the end here. So stick with me till the end. All right, so how does your love interest feel about you? They want to communicate with you, uh, so they want to talk with you, okay? They're trying to find that strength here, but they're worried and concerned. Okay, so they have a lot of worries and concerns. You keep them up at night. They want to commit to you. They want to be loyal and devoted to you, and they're hopeful of a positive outcome. And they see you as the best decision for them. You make them happy, Ten of Cups energy, and they regret what happened. Wow. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So they feel bad about it. They realize now they made a mistake. And they realize that you do make them happy. So this must be a past person. Okay, we got the Seven of Wands energy. So needing to defend the position of against these other people about what makes you happy. And we see concerns about something hidden or deceptive or maybe keeping it to yourself with the deception card. Keeping it to yourself. But needing to defend your position of what makes you happy is the blockage. Okay. When I see the Eight of Cups, guys, it, it, it gets me the sense of Gemini's. I, I, I get the sense that from what I know from my personal readings, it's usually my avoidance card. I know a lot of readers will say this is the walk away physically, mentally, but it's more for me like the avoidance of my emotions. I don't want to deal with it right now. You can see how this person's like, I'm walking away from these emotions. I don't want to deal with them right now. I'm going to go over here and explore this other area, okay? And it's like, I want to accomplish something, complete something here. Something's going to come full circle. And there is a person that really wants to put the effort into the connection. So what is the world? The world can talk about someone who is long distance, okay? Someone's far away. There could be some travel. I want to avoid the situation and travel. The world also could talk about, you know, think about when you graduate from college or high school. It's like, I want to accomplish something. I want to complete something here, and I want you to put the effort into this, okay? You also could be getting some kind of education around this, um, all right? So we see there's an attractive energy. So there is, there is definitely a person who's very attracted to you, who wants to be with you. Okay, and then we see this other person as well. So definitely for you guys, two choices here. There is someone who is like, I want to be of service to you. I want to be there for you. You may work with that person with the Eight of Pentacles energy. There is somebody who you've already had some kind of completed cycle here. Okay, so definitely two people and they're both very attracted to you. Okay, so I would say this week, it seems like you're attracting a lot of options to you, Gemini, and two in particular, okay? And we see maybe you guys are kind of avoiding the situation. Uh, you want to, uh, you're not sure if you want to um, accomplish something or complete something or put the work or effort into this until you gain some kind of knowledge to bring things into balance. See, again, we can see this another way too. Gemini, I really want to know, can I bring this into balance with you because I really miss you? That could be that person that's far away or distant from you. And we see there's effort being put towards this. I want to be there for you. I want to be romantic with you. Definitely another person here wants to be with you as well. Okay, so let's keep going. I want to gain knowledge here. We see that there's a lot of self-doubt and infringing party who's trying to make a power move. Single and available to pursue. I want a commitment here and I'm offering love, Ace of Cups energy. You can see that there is a want to have a commitment here, right? Someone wants to uh, commit to you. There may be concerns that something's going to go around in circles here. Okay, I want to spend some time alone. This, or this could have been somebody you were separated or isolated from. And now there's a commitment to offering love, Ace of Cups energy. 
Temperance saying, I want to heal the situation. I want a relationship with you and I want to offer love. Ace of Cups energy. You're shocked and surprised about this and this romantic gestures here. And some of you Geminis, I do feel like you're going to like, I need some time alone. You know, I want to just uh, have my alone time. Or maybe I want to be single and available to pursue. I'm not sure if I want to put the effort into this love as of yet. I have uncertainties. You're trying to listen to your intuition, intuition here. This person's like, I'm in despair, Gemini, about these restrictions, these boundaries. I'm offering you this opportunity. We see multiple people here and you're getting some kind of spiritual guidance or you're listening to your intuition here because we did see the Hierophant as the last day. So let's go through this all together, okay? So we see. All right, you're going to gain knowledge, them single and available to pursue or somebody who is isolated or separated and giving you an opportunity, okay? There's an opportunity coming in. I want to bring things into balance when it comes to a commitment and we see multiple people infringing parties okay i'm missing you gemini gemini there also could be this new love connection which is that's what i feel like too and we see that there there's there is the the sense that one of this these individuals you do have a very deep spiritual connection with we see that going further here i walked away from the situation now i want to heal this and you're shocked and surprised Going down another layer here. We were far away, distant. I want to travel towards you. I want this relationship. I want to accomplish something in this relationship. I want to be romantic with you. Knight of Cups energy. I'm putting the effort into love here, offering love, Ace of Cups energy, and providing you with enough money here, Nine of Pentacles energy. So you can take care of yourself, Nine of Pentacles energy, or single, are you single and available to pursue? I find you very attractive. I want to gain knowledge because I do feel like we have a spiritual connection. I want to be with you. There is some self-doubt or an infringing party that's causing some kind of despair. I want to be of service. I'm single and available to pursue. I'm making a power move because of these restrictions and boundaries right now. Okay. Can I have some advice for my Geminis when it comes to the romantic love life? For the highest, best, good, for the best possible outcome for them for the week of December 20th to the 26th. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Gemini. Okay, don't be shocked and surprised by this situation, okay? There is love, so follow your heart and take a chance, okay? Because what do we see as far as the blockage goes for you guys? It was like you couldn't be honest about who, you re who really made you happy. Be honest about who really made you happy, okay? There's going to be this disruption. Get ready for this disruption, okay? And fo follow your heart, okay, and take this chance. We see there's distractions here. And we see this very cautious energy that's causing you to yield or be patient. But you need to be happy with the joyful card energy and reflect on this, okay? When it comes to this healing situation. Yeah, we have an opportunity coming in for you guys. And you can surrender to your emotions here, Gemini. All right, my beautiful Geminis, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. There's multiple things you guys to go check out right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.